welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how to put an image on top of another image in Paint. To start off with, first you need to find the image you want to use as the main background image. I'm going to use my wallpaper background, as you can see I have it here on my desktop. I'm now going to right click and go edit, and it's now opened it up in Paint. You can always go file and open, and then find the image that you want to use as your background. Right, the next thing you now need to do is find your other image that you want to put on top of this background image. I've got another image on my desktop and this image is actually a .png file. If I just right click and go properties, as you can see it's .png and it actually already has a transparent background which your image will need. If your image doesn't have a transparent background then this isn't going to work as good. You now need to right click on that image and go edit and there we go as you can see I've got a bit of text that says computer sluggish. I'm now going to go control and A and then we're now going to select this down arrow under select this is on the home tab and we're now going to click on transparent selection. You now need to go control and C to copy your image once it's selected. You can always go on to the free form selection if you need to. We now need to open up our background image and we now need to click on the home tab again on the background image one and then under select we need to click on transparent selection again. And you can now go ahead and press control and V and there we go straight away as you can see I've now got text on top of my background and it's transparent. That's fantastic that has worked absolutely fine. Like I said at the start of the video, if you're not using a .png file, then it won't come out as good. Sometimes with the JPEG images and stuff, it will still keep the background or it will try its best to remove a lot of the color on the background. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.